There are many health benefits to owning a dog. They can increase opportunities to exercise, get outside, and socialize. Dogs are more than just a pet. Research shows that dogs bring real health benefits to their owners. The presence of a dog can lead to lower levels of stress for both kids and adults. They've been found to decrease the risk of asthma in children and have been linked to lower blood pressure. Researchers have shown that dog owners are more active than those who don't own dogs, packing in more steps per day on their walks or just regular playtime. A study revealed that elderly dog owners take 2,760 more steps a day on average compared to non-owners, which amounted to an additional 23 daily minutes of moderate exercise. Now, a new study shows how enduring that fact is. Dog owners are also remarkably more active during cold weather. The researchers found that the people who didn't own a dog were inactive for about 30 more minutes per day on average than those who strolled their dogs. Everyone who engaged in the study was less active on shorter days, colder days, and days with more precipitation. But the researchers discovered that, even during days with bad weather, dog walkers were more active than non-dog walkers were on the nicest days. We were surprised to find that dog walkers were on average more physically active and spent less time sitting on the coldest, wettest, and darkest days than non-dog owners were on long, sunny, and warm summer days. Dog walkers got in an average of 12 more minutes of activity on the wettest days, for example, than those who don't own dogs got on the driest days. Overall, on the driest days, dog walkers were inactive for an average of 632 minutes, compared to non-dog owners' 661 minutes. Physical activity interference typically tries and supports people to be active by focusing on the benefits to themselves, but dog walking is also driven by the needs of the animal. Being driven by something other than our own needs might be a really potent motivator, and we need to find ways of tapping into it when designing exercise interventions in the future. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and hit the subscribe button to get updated. See you in our next video.